The Adler Building was built in 1880 and at the time it was referred as the Daisy of the Town by many townspeople. Simon Adler moved to New Orleans from Bavaria in 1840, but it is not known how he made his way to Batesville. The 1880s was when the Opera Hall was at its finest. The Opera Hall was on the second floor and that is where many balls, festivals, and many plays took place. In addition to the Opera Hall, Simon Adler also had a bank. This is Simon with his bank on the far left. In 1904, Simon Adler died and the building went to his son Nathan. Nathan went on to sell the building to the Yateman Gray Grocery Company in 1916. In 1931, Yateman Gray filed for bankruptcy and Charles W. Barnett bought the building at public sale. With his brother I. N. Barnett, they created the corporation known as the Arkansas Dry Goods. In the 1940s, the Arkansas Dry Goods finally took its place in the building. The store brought many sales to Batesville. In 1968, the McSpadden Furniture Company moved into the building, and the owner of the store was Otha McSpadden. In the 1880s, it was also the office of Batesville Preservation Association. The 1990s is when the Fabric Connection Store moved into the building. The architecture style of the building is in Richardson Romanesque as seen on the five arch windows. The middle window has a plaque above it with an A on it, and the A is for Adler. This type of column is a Corinthian column. Corinthian columns are the most decorated of the three types of columns. The Corinthian architectural style is characterized by slender fluted columns and elaborate capitals decorated with leaves and scrolls. The Adler Building is currently in disrepair, but it is owned by Joey Markowski. In the fall of 2019, the building was awarded a $500,000 Housing and Urban Development Grant. Restoration work will begin in 2021. The owners are planning for housing on the upper floors where the Opera Hall once operated, and retail space and a bakery are planned for the lower floors.